Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Totally Sassy T again. I am in the building. I am um, doing a quick video, as of many today, um, concerning Steve Harvey, Cher, uh, Strawberry, Shirley Strawberry, and the Strawberry Letter, and Steve's response about the bloggers. Well, Steve, I think you might need to go with a blogger and stop putting the bloggers in your mess okay because to me i don't care what you and marjorie do but anyway before we get started remember all things on this channel is alleged in my opinion it is for learning it is for teaching it is for entertainment purposes now i am going to address the strawberry letter not all of it because i just did it in a video but what I will address is Steve has made this about him and Marjorie because they're going through a time where her ex-husband has published a book and put a lot of information out there. Um, and then now that it's in the blogs, we as black bloggers are getting, saying, are getting scrutinized because we're reporting on what this man has said about their marriage. Now, it's not tearing you down. It's about what someone else says, the validity of it. Is there any validation in, in any of this, what this man is saying? Nobody has came out and said it. Nobody has said, no, nah, this is not true until the strawberry letter. Now, it seems like way last October, all of a sudden, Shirley Strawberry's recording has piled on top of two weeks worth of going through things, which is not true. Um, that happened last year, okay? And now you have what you got going on this year. To be honest, I, I'm glad that Marjorie was there to help you through things, as a wife should be, okay? Um, she saw potential in you, she saw a future in you, and she saw money in you. She saw what you could do, and she was there with you. Kudos for that. As have many black women have stood in the rabbit hole with their spouses. Uh, excuse me, y'all. Um, yours is not the only one, okay? We have been scrutinized and put down for many of years, okay? Black women and black bloggers. But let's be clear. White bloggers are talking about it too. They might not be as animated as some of us black bloggers, but white bloggers, as well as others, are talking about your relationship as well. So when you point out being saying it's all black bloggers, I think you're just, you get mad because there's one blogger you're mad at in particular, okay? So I wish that, you know, when you say black bloggers, at every blogger because it's not just black bloggers it's white bloggers it's black bloggers it's the news it's other channels it's this it's that you're not we're not the only one reporting on this what her ex-husband had to say about her okay so if you want to get mad at somebody get mad at the ex-husband who's put this in who's piled this crap on top of your life all right um i commend steve for you know going out here building from nothing to having something and have somebody to be there with them because a lot of people leave you you know as soon as they get a little money all right kudos to you kudos to the fact that people do change they don't run the streets no more okay kudos to you kudos to marjorie if that's if that's the case but I think you took this strawberry letter to address what you address. Fine. I didn't hear an apology to, uh, a, a accepted apology to um, Sherry. I mean, Shirley Strawberry. I didn't hear you accept it. I heard you make jokes about it. But I think you're pretty mad at her as well. And maybe you're not ready to accept it. Um you said that y'all come to work every single day to make us happy well you're not the only people that do that okay we go i go to work just like every day to make somebody else happy regardless of what i'm going through so because i am a 
I take care of uh, the sick and I take care of the, um, you know, their families and everything else that goes with it. Okay, so you're not the only one that does that. Every day somebody goes to work with a cross on their back to bear and taking care of somebody else's crosses. Okay, so you're not the only one. You're just not the only one. And you would never be the only one. It's just simple facts. The fact of the matter is you need to address the person who started this mess. And the blogger who's putting it out. And don't blame every black blogger because all of us, is we're not the same. Okay? We report on what's out here, whether it's true or false. That's why we say we put our own opinion, in my opinion, just my thoughts on it, on what's out there. If the truth is out there, you're going to get the truth from me or some other bloggers. But to say all black bloggers, no, 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 no. No ma'am, no ham, no sir, no der. You need to go and accept the fact that there are other bloggers that you're mad at. You're just mad and you want to take it out on the bloggers when you should be taking out one blogger, the main man that started this mess, and Shirley Strawberry, she knew she was being recorded. She knew she was talking about, you know, the Harveys. She shouldn't have done it. It has made him mad. It has um, put a sour taste in his mouth because he considered her family. Um, and it just, he's mad about it. And now the bloggers are the pit of his mad. No, no, no. If you're mad at Shirley, be mad at Shirley and let her know. If you're mad at the ex-husband, be mad at the ex-husband because be, let's be clear. None of us would have known anything about anything, even though we've heard years about Marjorie, which I could care less because <clears throat> everybody changes. None of us would have reported on this. He put that out there. So be mad at who started the mess because it was not us. Um, from the part that I heard, Steve is <clears throat> really mad because we are, a lot of us, a lot of bloggers, black and white, are talking about Marjorie's history or past. We all have past, okay? We can't let it define our future. Um, we all change because when we're young, we do stupid stuff, Okay? Um, <clears throat> the one thing about uh, Shirley is she said she was embarrassed this has happened we all have been embarrassed by somebody who has hurt us we all have been ashamed of something somebody has done to us and I'm ashamed that I didn't recognize it that is human and we give grace to that but what I will not accept is Steve putting everything on black bloggers it's not fair. It's not right because there are other bloggers bigger than some of these black. Me, I'm a small blogger compared to some. I am small, but I don't appreciate being put in that category. Okay. Um, so I feel like he's speaking out of anger because he wants to put bloggers in it, but and say we're vicious. This this channel over here is not vicious. And I don't appreciate him putting us, the ones that really do report and give a positive to black love, black marriages and everything. Whether we like your wife or not, you know, I think she's a beautiful woman. I don't know what she done in her past. I wasn't there. But whatever this man has put out of Steve, that's what we report on. So don't get mad at us. Get mad at the dude that did it. Okay, you could have, go address that. Okay, because that's where it came from. All right. Woo, child. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about Steve um, mad at the bloggers and calling us vicious. Okay. No, you're mad at one blogger. And you need to go after that one blogger. Because all bloggers are talking about it. Black, white, green, purple, whatever. If they're a blogger, they're talking about you. I don't like that. I do not like it. Um, and again, I didn't hear him accept, giving an exception to 
you know, I accept your apology, Shirley. I accept this. I understand he's not ready for that. And I get that because you're going through a lot right now. And for somebody to go and secretly talk about you, it's a hurtful feeling, especially when you thought it was family. Well, what she said was, it wasn't that bad. But it's the loyalty that comes with it. Uh, what she said, I wouldn't have never said to my husband. I mean, what what I experienced is, and uh, with on my day off with my co-workers, that's me. If he say hi, I'd go. I say it went well. Although this happened, he said, well, maybe you know they were in a bad mood or you know or something like that. But he does not sit down and and listen to the you know gossip. I feel like Ernesto is a Mitch, and he was enjoying the description of. Uh, Marjorie uh, through Charlie Strawberry. And I know that's what Steve is mad about because he was like, ooh, how she look? How she this? Yes, he was. He is a pedo and he's a pervert. He is. And he deserves to be in jail the rest of his life. Okay? Now, as far as Marjorie and her daughter, I don't know the relationship. I know Marjorie did raise her daughter and I know, not Marjorie, excuse me, Shirley, didn't raise her daughter and allegedly and um, they're not as close but apologies can bring you together and it can make you uh, be close and, and and heal a lot of open wounds so uh, I, I encourage you guys to comment below and let me know what you're thinking about um, the bloggers being blamed for everything uh, first and foremost it's not our fault you know we report just like you do okay all right you guys let me know what you think about steve harvey the bloggers are vicious okay and let it, let me know did you hear a true acceptance to shirley strawberry's um uh, apology i didn't did you we'll talk about it tonight at 6 30. bye